Alright guys, uh, I got Elite 50, Baron Corbin, in the mail the other day. Uh, not from Ringside, from another website. Uh, actually got him for 19 ship, which is a pretty good deal. And I also got with him Elite 50 Rhino. But before I get into Baron Corbin, I just want to talk a little bit about Rhino here. Uh, the figure ain't the best. I think a lot of people don't like the arms and shoulders. They look very bulky and jacks like and when I first saw the pictures months ago before Elite 50 I was hoping it was just like a prototype but yeah it's not but other than that the face is pretty nice I do like the blue of the tire but the arms I don't like reminds me of jacks and the fists are very loose but the plus side of this figure you get the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship, one of them, which is pretty nice. It's the silver plates with the blue strap. And I'm pretty sure uh, Heath Slater is going to come with the other one. But yeah, let's put Rhino aside and let's take a look at Baron Corbin. Still inside the packaging, looking pretty badass. Got Baron Corbin right there, SmackDown Live, the show is on. Corbin again right there. Same thing on that side. Look at the back. There he is again. Six foot eight, blah blah blah. He wore us at NXT Takeover Dallas, April 1st, 2016. Other figures in the set, you're already seeing interview on Shane. Great figure. His head's kind of big, but still good. Uh, I showed you Rhino. Kind of do want this John Cena. I like the red and blue. Maybe Stephanie. And I'm not worried about him. But yeah, now we'll get into Barry Corbin. Alright, got another package. Let's take a look at the uh, only accessory he comes with, which is, which is his jacket. Which is all black with some silver and I think the gray collar right there. Pretty good. Came on pretty good. You got those skulls right there on each side. The front looking pretty cool. Not too bad. Now there's the lone wolf in all its glory. Looking pretty badass. I do like how this figure turned out. Now he has a little loose in torso. Too loose that I don't like. And the fists are kind of loose. You can tell. What the hell? <laughs> that kind of rhymed. And I'm just taking a look at his face. It looks pretty good. Maybe a little better than the basic. And you can see his tattoos on his chest. Nice and colorful. And on his arm. Tattoo looking pretty cool. All those colors right there. And also has his tattoos on the inside of his arms. Got one right there that says. RMFD PA Hmm, what do I that stands for? And on the other side, I like that purple tattoo right there, that's pretty cool. And I'll take a look at his tights or pants. You got the belt buckle right there. You got a lot of detail on the on the legs and all these things are Sculpt it in there, not like paint it. So it looks pretty badass. If you look at the back, you see a little texture here and there. Really cool figure. That side right there. there yeah, and then of course his back tattoo. Looking pretty cool. Now take a look at his next to this first basic figure side by side which is this cool pretty cool basic but you know the leads a lot better in my opinion and looks like the face skins are a little bit different I don't know my it, yeah the eyes look different the eyes on this one looks more squint like he's squinty more definitely the tattoos look a whole hell a lot better now I don't need this basic no more, so if anybody's interested, let me know. Uh, 
sell it for ten dollars shipped, PayPal only, USA only. But I'm keeping the Apple pads. Gotta put them in on the elite. But yeah, if anybody needs them, let me know. I don't need them anymore. Got the base. I got the elite. And that's my review on Elite 50 Baron Corbin. I would give this figure a 10 out of 10. I like it. Uh, thanks for watching. And let me know if anybody wants that basic Barry Corbin. Thanks for watching.